I just quickly wanted to show how to assemble this K-Leg set for industrial sewing machines. These are from Prizzy. Now look for a separate video on installing a similar type table. It's a double T-Leg table, really heavy duty, that includes caster wheels, but this one is on the basic K-Leg set. Your Prizzy leg set will come in a box like this, so let's open it up and get it assembled. In the kit, you'll get two adjustable K legs, your complete hardware pack, a treadle rod and foot pedal. Now normally you'd get a, about a 38 inch rail for the treadle support rail and the back support rail. This is a little smaller design, it's about 30 inches wide and it makes a nice compact table. Regardless of the K-leg size you go with, assembly is the same. And the first step is to pick an approximate height you want for your adjustable K-leg set. And those will go anywhere from 25 to 31 inches tall on your table height. Start with the bolt and lock washer. Add a flat washer and go in from the back. Then use this special washer that keeps the nut from turning. And finally, add the nut from inside Adjust your height and get everything tightened up. And you can secure that with either an adjustable wrench or a 22 millimeter socket. And that'll give me a height of about 29 inches. Now Prizzy tables are about an inch and a half thick, so 30 and a half for my finished height, and that's about right. Next, locate all the parts that you'll need to assemble the foot pedal. It'll come with a couple brackets and a separately packaged hardware kit. I was really happy to see these nylon spacers. They actually go into the bracket that holds the foot pedal in place and it's really nice because it won't squeak and it's a nice low friction connection. So that's a good sign of quality on this kit. So roughly position your foot pedal. I happen to know that mine needs to be situated 11 inches from this right side. So It'll go right in here. Just make sure that as you position that foot pedal, the side with the holes faces the back of the machine. That will actually receive a bracket that it will help you attach your treadle rod up to the motor. And to attach those brackets, just drop the bolts in from the top side and then add a large flat washer and a nut on the bottom. Those large washers are important to help span any gap in these adjustable slots and keep everything secure. And I like to tighten up one bracket so you can push into that as you add the pedal and the second bracket. And as you add the bracket on the other side, that can be touching because of that nylon spacer, but you don't want it compressed too much. It should have a nice, easy action. These fasteners are 14 millimeters, by the way. And if you don't know where your foot pedal should go, if it's a typical industrial sewing machine, there's a good chance the foot pedal needs to be located just to the right of center. And then add the bracket to the back of the foot pedal, but just leave the fasteners loose for now. That'll give you some room to adjust things to align it with the treadle rod. Then I like to turn the leg set upside down and attach that rear rail. It's got a little shaped section on it that kind of articulates with the K leg, so it keeps it nice and sturdy. And we'll secure that joint with bolts flat washers, and the included nuts. Tools on this, you'll need 17 millimeter socket and open-ended wrench. And now you'll need those carriage bolts and with the table still upside down, they'll install from underneath like this with washer and nut. And that'll use a 17 millimeter socket to tighten that up. But do take note that this is adjustable and I typically will put this in the front slot and push it all the way back. That seems to be a comfortable position for me. And you don't need to go crazy on these, just snug them up. And from there, your basic K-Leg assembly is done. And we're ready to add the top. It's just naturally a really sturdy setup the way K-Legs are made. That stays out of your way when you're operating the machine, but offers plenty of support. And then perhaps what Prizzy is most well known for is their custom tabletop, so they can 
get or make just about any tabletop you might need for your industrial sewing machine. This one's destined to go with a skiving machine, so it's a cute little table, nice and sturdy, but perfect for that application. Whether it's a standard table or a custom one like this, all the belt slots and machine cutouts will be taken care of at their shop. The tops are a full inch and a half thick, and I like the construction details there. It's a plywood core sandwiched between two layers of MDF, which is a perfect substrate for the laminate top. Even the bottom of the table is nicely sealed up, and that's important to keep it flat over time. Finally, just pre-drill some holes for the included wood screws to attach that top to your new leg set. So if you're looking for a new table for your sewing machine or you're setting something up from scratch, definitely check in with Prizzy. Putting together these table leg sets was really easy. I like the K style for a lot of the heavy duty machines or if I need casters, I'll go with this double T-leg assembly. Both are really good units. I'll put Prizzy's contact information down in the description box if you want to check out the types of products they offer.